Our coverage of the murder investigation surrounding Aaron Fernandez continues tonight. The second suspect arrested in the case faced the judge again today. Carlos Ortiz is charged with carrying a firearm without a license and this morning didn't even ask to get out of bail. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly continues our in-depth coverage outside Attleboro District Court. Carlos Ortiz is back behind bars tonight after he came here to court in Attleboro and agreed to skip a dangerousness hearing and stay locked up, at least for now. 27-year-old Carlos Ortiz back before a judge in Attleboro for a dangerousness hearing. He's one of two accused accomplices in the first-degree murder case against Aaron Hernandez, the former star tight end for the New England Patriots, charged with killing a friend and fellow football player, 27-year-old Odin Lloyd of Dorchester in Boston. Carlos Ortiz is charged with carrying a firearm without a license on June 17th, the same day prosecutors say Odin Lloyd was shot five times. At what would have been a dangerousness hearing, Carlos Ortiz agreed to be held without bail without a dangerousness hearing. Chances are that the judge would hold him without bail anyway, or if they didn't hold him without bail, the bail would be such that he couldn't afford it, just being an indigent client. The defense lawyer spoke about his client's state of mind. You know, he, he's uh, obviously uh, afraid, depressed. We also asked if he knows why Carlos Ortiz would have been at Aaron Hernandez's home with a gun shortly after the murder. The generally talkative defense lawyer had a one-word answer, no. In Attleboro with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.